Today I'm going to explain why you'll never be interrupted by a Windows update again if you have a device with modern standby. How it will enable instant on for your device, wake your laptop with a voice command or play music and put your laptop to sleep, and how modern standby differs from normal sleep mode. Russell here, editorial director of Petri.com in this life and IT consultant in a previous one. I recently bought a new Windows notebook with modern standby, a feature that's implemented in recent hardware and developed by Intel and supported in Windows 10 and Windows 11. Expanding on connected standby from Windows 8.1, modern standby is a low power state that lets your PC stay up to date providing that it has a network connection. And the new standard developed by Intel gives hardware manufacturers a bigger choice when choosing components. Modern Standby is part of Intel's Project Athena initiative, which is designed to bring a more phone-like experience to PCs. So you get wake from sleep in less than a second, so this feature is called Instant On, and the ability for Windows to run tasks in the background even while your device is asleep. You can also do things like ask Cortana to wake the device with a voice command, or even play music and then put your device to sleep and have the music carry on playing in the background. Windows supports Microsoft Store applications running background tasks while your device is asleep. So for instance, you could still receive voice over IP calls, reminders, or even do Bluetooth device syncing all while your device is in sleep mode. So while modern standby requires the right combination of hardware and software to work, it makes sure that your device uses the minimum amount of power to extend battery life, or if it's connected to the AC, of course be economic with power consumption. So the kind of sleep that most people are used to in their notebooks is called the S-free power state. And this essentially puts the device to sleep completely. So your CPU is turned off, so is memory, and essentially nothing is really working there. And it can take some time for the device to wake from sleep. But modern standby is referred to as S0. And it differs from S-free sleep by transitioning from active to sleep in a series of steps. So components are power down when they're not being used and it allows the device to wake from sleep much faster. Plus modern standby doesn't have any requirement to communicate directly with the device's firmware. When your laptop is connected to AC power it can go into maintenance mode and do things like Windows update in the background. So if you want to check whether your device supports modern standby all you need to do is open a command prompt. So if you press the Windows key type CMD and then click command prompt from the list of search results. Then in the command prompt window, type power CFG, all one word like you can see on the screen, then a space, slash and A, and press return. And if you can see S0 low power idle written in the results, then your device supports modern standby. So what difference does all this make in practice? Well, I've owned one of these devices now for six months and I can say it's pretty good. The best thing about modern standby is that your notebook gets updated once a month or whenever it receives a Windows update and you will never even notice that it's happened. With my previous notebook, I'd either be interrupted to apply Windows updates or I'd have to do it manually in advance to make sure that I wasn't going to be interrupted. But with modern standby, those issues go away. Providing, of course, you leave your device plugged in and connected to a network. So modern standby helps to resolve many of the complaints that people have about Windows Update. And with the ability to relaunch many modern apps when your device reboots after an update, you can just log in the next morning and your desktop will look pretty much as you left it and you may never even realise that the device restarted. And of course I'm sure that in maintenance mode Windows is able to perform other tasks in the back background, maybe like updating the search index or defragmenting a hard drive that might otherwise happen when you're actively using your device. So how do you go about buying a device that has modern standby? Well, unfortunately, it's not really easy to understand whether a notebook supports this feature. But in principle, most 11th and 12th generation Intel CPUs do support it. But of course, that doesn't necessarily mean that the manufacturer has been able to select all the appropriate components that are required to support modern standby and whether they've even enabled that support. But to be honest, if I bought a new Intel device today and discovered that it didn't support modern standby, I would think about taking it back. 
If you found this video useful, then please give it a like. I'd really appreciate that. And I'm going to leave you with another video that you might find interesting. But that's it from me today, and I'll see you next time.